hello. Welcome Get to Gabby's Nick Goodies. I'm in a bit of a new spot here um, because this spot makes me happy. This is my lovely yarn that I dye um, and sitting there it makes me happy. I also have like a day bed so it's really cozy here. So I hope the lighting works out all right. So I would love to be able to shoot here more. Um, granted this is one time when I don't have all of my children at home which I usually do, so that's the primary reason why um, I can't record here because it's just too loud. But today, for two hours, I'm actually home alone, which is lovely. <laughs> okay, so I have a few whips to talk about with you today, um, and I guess I should share what I'm wearing, even though it's a very, very old knit that I made. Um, I don't know how many years ago, a number of years ago. I believe it's called the Graham Sweater. Oh, before I start. You can find me on Etsy at Gaby's Knit Goodies where I sell my hand dyed yarn. And then on Instagram, Gaby's Knit Goodies, I'm doing the five fibruary challenge on there so I'm actually posting this month which is good for me because I struggle with keeping up with Instagram posts. Um, I like to share my stuff but for some reason I have a hard time taking picture and putting it up there and talking about it. Anyways um, and then my yarn I post yarn videos about packaging up my yarn and sometimes dyeing my yarn on GKG yarn on Instagram. Um, I'm on Ravelry. Try to do projects every now and again up there, but I'm kind of slow with that one too. So anyways, I believe this is on Ravelry. Gaby Snake Goodies is my Ravelry name too. And um, like I said, I believe it's called the Graham Sweater. And I feel like it's like a Brooklyn Tweed pattern, I think. Something like that. It's a beautiful cable cardigan. Um, I knit it out of Fisherman's Wool, Lion Brand yarn, Fisherman's Wool, in a, like a heathered green color. And it has the cable down the sleeve. Um, it is seamed. It has shoulder seam. I think it may have been top, I mean bottom up, not top down. Um, has a cable in the front. I have lovely little wooden wooden buttons on it here that I actually put on. It's supposed to have like a big folded down collar but I kind of wanted um, a shorter collar that kind of stood up so I did a double fold shorter collar and it I like this it's kind of like a jacket but the the neckline didn't work quite as well as I'd hoped but I'll try to show you the back It's really pretty. Um, I don't think the pattern had pockets. I don't believe so, anyways. If it did, it might have, I don't know. I added pockets if it did not. Let's see if I can show you that. They are just like um, little rectangles, so a sideways rectangle in here. And I actually I just tacked it on here and I was running, I was playing yarn chicken. Not surprising. Um, I've done that a lot in my knitting career. Um, so I ran out, so I used a different color, which is on the inside, so you don't see it. Um, I think what I did was like bound off here and here as I was knitting back and forth. And then when I went to do the pockets, I picked up stitches around the, those bound off edges and then knit in the round until the, um, until it was long enough. So, yeah. Like I said, I'm not sure if that's in the pattern or not. It's been a while. So, it is pretty warm. Um, I think I probably knit one of the smaller sizes. It's not super roomy. 
so I have to wear something thin under it, and it is fisherman's wool, so it's not exactly, um, it's not really ne next, to skin, next to skin soft, so I do like to wear something under. Anyways, I do get compliments on this one, and it probably needs to be depilled. So, yeah. I just have a little comb, like a one of those depilling combs that I use, but I, I need to depill my stuff more often, because I don't do that very often, but it does make them look nicer. Okay, another item that I'm wearing, I can't remember the name of this sock pattern. I'll have to take them off probably, but ta-da! <laughs> I knit these a while ago out of some leftover yarn that I had. I need to dye up some of this again. This was my just peachy colorway. And for the spring, it would be good to dye this again. I do have matcha in the shop, but it was a mini skein of matcha and then a full skein of my just peachy colorway, which is like a, um, a light orangey with uh, specks of green throughout it. Kind of a little bit of brown maybe too. But it's a, it's a fun little colorway that's not, it's a good springy colorway that's not like pinkies, purples type things. This pattern has twisted rib and it is a short pattern. Um, I have a heel flap and gusset. I believe that was in the pattern. And then it has this adorable little lace motif. I guess it's not lace. Cable pattern type motif, but it's just like one by one patterning here that makes a scallop. Isn't that adorable? I think it's super cute. Yeah. I think I had knit another pair of socks or something out of this just peachy colorway, and so this was just my leftovers. But I really love the top of this sock. I should knit it again. And I should dye my just peachy again. Okay, so that's it for my old finished objects. I don't have any new finished objects, but I'm getting closer. I will start with Viveka. Don't know how to say it. Viveka. It's by the West Strand Sisters. It is a cardigan or vest pattern. And I'm knitting it for my daughter out of DK Weight Caramel Macchiato. All the yarns you will see today are my own yarns. So I'll probably try to put the name up here, but it's all my own stuff. So this is the Caramel Macchiato. That is like a cream with, it reads kind of a neutral, but it has little flecks of blue and red and yellow and orange in there. Um, so yeah, I, I like this back. I think that's pretty cool because it starts off like parallel here and then once you hit the, so it's bottom up, yes, bottom up, um, but it's knit, the whole front and back sections are knit together until you split for the arms. So once you split for the arms, you knit back and forth and your cables, there's increases and decreases so that your cable sections here like spread out. And I, th I think that's a really cool um, design feature. And then in the front, it kind of does the same thing. It is a v-neck sweater. So it is, it kind of does the same thing in the front, but it ends up just um, kind of going along the the edge of the collar, but when it's worn, 
you can probably see that it goes straight up and then it kind of comes out towards the outer side of your shoulder more. Um, yeah, then that V starts in the front. So, like I said, bottom up construction, split for your arms, finish the back, leave the shoulders um, live, the shoulder stitches live, and there's a little bit of shoulder shaping with short rows there. And then you finish knitting the front section on each side, and then you actually do a three needle bind off on the underside here. So you can see the result of my three needle bind off there, but it just looks like a regular seam on the front. This has not been blocked yet. Um, and then you pick up stitches for the um, button band. And I have done that. It's just a one by one button band. Another design feature that I like about this sweater is it has you do, um, like you have a stitch at the edge, but then you have a stitch that stays a knit stitch on the front side. So you have all of these reverse stock knit stitch between your cables and the majority of the body is reverse stock knit stitch. But there's this nice little knit row here and then there's another row after that that you attach when you that you pick up your stitches on. So you end up with this nice neat little row next to your button band. And I think that looks really nice and it's a um a nice little detail in the pattern. They also do the same type of thing here on the side. So it's like a faux side seam. There's just a little knit stitch that pops out from that reverse stock knit stitch that you can see there on the side. Which I think is kind of cool. And it also gives you a marker. Like when you're going, you know exactly where like the underarm is gonna line up with. Um, yeah, here's the inside. You can see what the yarn looks like on stock and stitch. I feel like um, any speckled yarn in stock and stitch, the speckles are more concentrated almost a little bolder and then on the reverse stock knit stitch they get broken up a little bit more which is interesting. I find yarn interesting which I guess I would have to to do. Spend so much time with it. So anyways my daughter tried it on in lengthwise it is great I am knitting the smallest size for her she is 10 years old I haven't changed anything in the pattern um, the only thing I am concerned about is width. I wanted it to be kind of that wide boxy sweater and it seems like it's not quite as uh, roomy as I had hoped. However, I have not blocked it. Um, and with cables, they tend to pull, especially when they're not blocked, kind of like lace needs to be opened up too. So I feel like, I mean, in terms of stretchiness, I have a lot of room. So if I wanted to block it wider, I certainly could. I just want to make sure I do it right. Like I don't want to over block it and regret it. So I think I'm going to take measurements and, um, and block it to the right measurements so that I, I actually make sure I did it, do it correctly. Sometimes I like to wing things and not uh, not do things exactly step by step right. But as you can see here, the the two cables kind of sitting kind of close together, but once they're blocked, they'll definitely be a little farther apart, even without stretching it. Just blocked nicely. Okay, I feel like I have carried on quite enough about the Viveka cardigan. But it is so cute. My daughter is super excited, super, super excited to get this. So I have to finish it soon.
the other exciting and big project I have going on is for myself, which I do love to knit for myself. And this is the Rhoda Jumper by Irene. Irene someone. I forget her name, but I will put it up here on the screen as well as down below. I'll try to link all the patterns below. I have finished the main body of this sweater and it is getting knit up um, to the regular pattern dimensions which she has a version that is or an option to knit it longer. The original is kind of cropped and that's the one I am going for. Um, her original pattern is in an Aran weight cotton yarn. I have chosen a DK weight merino nylon yarn in olive green. And I actually dyed this colorway specifically for me and this purpose. I do have some extras in the shop if you like it, but um, yeah. So like I said, the original pattern, it says it's an Aran weight cotton yarn. And I wanted something with more elasticity and less weight than cotton yarn. So I went with the merino. And I was fine with it being a little bit warmer than uh, maybe a cotton yarn. Because it, it also has a whole bunch of holes in it. So I don't think it matters that much what I knit it out of, to be honest. But we'll see. I haven't worn it when it's been hot out. But I feel like this is more of a spring and fall knit for me in terms of wear. Um, yeah, so the patterning, my biggest concern with going with a thinner yarn was, is the pattern gonna show up well, like, is, or is it gonna look too loose? But it, I think it looks gorgeous. I think it worked out really, really well. And merino does tend to be fluffier than, um, cotton so I feel like you you get a little more wiggle room uh, you know it's squishier so it fills in better than like a maybe a thin cotton would if you're trying to do a thin cotton in a thicker cotton pattern anyways I like it I think it worked beautifully and in terms of gauge I am still making gauge and using the same needle size as what the pattern calls for even though my yarn is a DK weight versus an air weight. Enough rambling. You can see the lace work here. And it's really pretty. And I think it's turning out really well. Yeah. I love it. So all I have to do is pick up for my sleeves. Knit my sleeves. You could do long sleeves or the three quarter length sleeves that are on the pattern sample and I'm going the three quarter length sleeves. I think that will be very wearable for me given the type of garment this is. I plan on wearing like a black tank top under it. I think that'll be cute. Yeah, I'm very excited. And I guess, um, I assume the neckline might need to be picked up. I don't know. I can't remember. I feel like it has a neckline on it, like a ribbing or something. I could be wrong. So, Anyways, this is the Rota Jumper, and I am super excited to finish it. This is the one I want to knit on all the time, but my daughter really wants hers. Okay, the other whip I have going on is the sweater number 20 by My Favorite Things Knitwear, but I haven't picked that up since last time, so I'm not even going to show it because I have nothing to show for my time on that one. I guess I haven't spent any time on it. Let me put it that way. But I do have another cast on. Um, so these are, or this is, one of the Valedictorian Socks by Keisha. I don't know if the pattern is available at this point in time or not. 
she gave me the pattern um, to knit, to test knit, before she released it. I know she has had a few other people knit it, though. Um, the pattern calls for DK weight yarn, and I am using the matcha green tea latte in DK weight, which is a lovely green with some little speckles going on. But it's not like a, it's not a heavily speckled, but it's definitely not, it's not solid. The speckles just aren't as bold as like the caramel macchiato. But it has subtle, subtle color, colors in there of kind of red and blues and dark greens, a little bit of brown. This is a cabled sock. It has a three by one, like three pearl, one knit ribbing at the top. And then it has these tight little cables that go down like the center front of the sock and um, yeah it's turning out pretty so she has written the pattern for DPNs double pointed needles I have some double pointed needles and I actually got some not that long ago because I thought I might want to try knitting with them more um, but I don't know that I love knitting with DPNs so I think I might switch over to circular needles and do magic loop instead. Or possibly, I think I have some nine inches uh, Chalgu circulars that I could do um, that are the right size that I could use for this instead. For some reason, I don't know. I'm not loving working with double pointed needles. So, I think I'd like to try Magic Loop with this, and I think it will go a little bit faster for me. I think it's just because I'm not as used to knitting with them, and so I don't tend to pick it up. Yeah. But, they're turning out cute. I will continue to keep you informed on how they go. I tend to do, if I do socks, I tend to do the thinner weight sock yarns that's uh, like a fingering weight. So I haven't done a lot of DK weight socks. So it definitely is a thicker, a th thicker fabric for that and a denser fabric. I think they'll be very warm and fairly durable because it's definitely a dense, a dense sock pattern fabric with the DK weight yarn in, I don't remember what size needle, but I think it's, I think it's only like a size two or two and a half US. I can't remember, but it, it makes a tight gauge. So yeah, I think that's all I'm going to show you guys today. I have stuff that I've been working on with my class that I teach, my knit and crochet class. Um, but I think that's all in my, my bin that I wheel to my class. So anyways, we're doing color work for the first time in that class. And this is a year long or school year long beginner knit and crochet class. And so they've gotten knits, they've gotten pearls down, we've done some decreases and um, we did granny squares in crochet for last week and now this week we're doing a little, like a little square with a little heart in it for like beginner color work and then of course for February for Valentine's Day. So yeah, so it's cute. And I think that's all I have to show you. I have my little bit of yarn. You're welcome to check it out on Etsy. I would love for you guys to do that um, and see what you think. Um, yeah. I guess that's all I have to say for today. I hope you guys are having a wonderful time knitting or crocheting or just drinking a cup of coffee and relaxing. I hope everyone gets some time to relax. That is my wish for you all as well as for myself. Have a good day.